Hello, I'm Bishop Paul of the Reformed Old Catholic Church Diocese of South Australia. And today is Monday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. I'd like to share with you today the readings from the Mass, starting with the Collect for the day. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honour you with all our mind and love everything in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second book of Samuel. A messenger came to tell David, The hearts of the men of the Israel are now with Absalom. So David said to all his officers who were with him in Jerusalem, Let us be off. Let us fly, and we shall never escape from Absalom. Leave as quickly as you can in case he mounts the surprise attack and worsts us and puts the city to the sword. David then made his way up the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went, his head covered and his feet bare, and all the people with him had their heads covered and made their way up weeping as they went. As David was reaching Baharim, out came a man of the same clan of Saul's family. His name was Shimei, son of Gera. And as he came, he uttered curse after curse and threw stones at David and all at all the king's David's officers. And the, though the army, whole army, and all the champions flanked the king right and left. The words of his curse were these, Be off, be off, man of blood, scoundrel. The Lord has brought on you all the blood of the house of Saul, whose sovereignty you have unspurred. Then the Lord, tra and the Lord transferred, that same sovereignty to Absalom, your son. Now your doom was, has overtaken you, man of blood that you are. Abishia, son of Zerah, said to the king, Is this dead dog to curse my lord the king? Let me go over and cut his head off. But the king replied, What business is it of mine and yours? sons of Zerah, let him curse. If the Lord said to him, Curse David, what right has anyone to say? Why have you done this? David said to Abishai and all his officers, Why, my own son, sprung from my body, is now seeking my life, so now how much more this Benjaminite? Let him curse on if the Lord has told him to. Perhaps the Lord will look on my misery and repay me with good for his curse today. So David and his men went on their way. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel reading for today is from the Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus and his disciples reached the country of the Jezreens on the other side of the lake. And no sooner had Jesus left the boat than a man with an unclean spirit came out of the tombs towards him. The man lived in the tombs and no one could secure him any more, even with a chain, because he had often been secured with fetters and chains but had snapped the chains and broken the fetters, and no one had the strength to control him. All night and all day among the tombs in the mountains, he would howl and gnash himself with stones. Catching the sight of Jesus from the distance, he ran up, fell at his feet, and shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus? Son of the Most High God, swear by God, you will not torture me. For Jesus had been saying to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. 
What is your name? Jesus answered, My name is Legion, he answered. For there are many of us, and he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the district. Now there were, there was there on the mountainside a great herd of pigs seeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the pigs, and let us go, go into them. So he gave them leave. With that the unclean spirits came out and went into the pigs, and the herd of about two thousand pigs charged down the cliffs into the lake, and there they were drowned. The swine herds ran off and told their story in the town and in the country around about. And the people came to see what really had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demonic sitting there, clothed and in his full senses. The very man who had been, had the legion in him before, and they were afraid. Those who had witnessed it reported what had happened to the demonic and what had become of the pigs. Then they began to implore Jesus to leave the neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who was had possessed it begged to be allowed to stay with him. Jesus would not let him, but said to him, Go home to your people and tell them all that the Lord in his mercy has done for you. So the man went off and proceeded to spread throughout the Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him, and everyone was amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's interesting how both readings the Gospel as well as the, the reading from the Old Testament, had someone abusing in the Gospel, it was Jesus. And of course, in the Old Testament, it was David being abused by this other person who was the, of the family of Saul. David just let the man go. He said, if it was God's will, so be it. And then just went about his business. The man with David wanted to cut his head off. But no. Then of course here we, we read in the gospel about the demonic person. The person was possessed by the legion. When you think about it. When they asked to go into the swine. Jesus allowed them to do that. And of course, the swine just ran into the sea and drowned. If you think about it, how would you feel if your peep, if your friends or someone who had a herd of pigs, the same thing happened? You don't, wouldn't want this man around here. What about my sheep or my don't, goats? Will this man kill them too? But of course, this wasn't the way. And as Jesus said to the man when he wanted to go with him in the boat, go home and tell the people what had happened to you. And of course, once again, the word, the reputation of Jesus had spread it further out. So for now, Keep spreading the word. Keep spreading the word of what Jesus has done for you. That people will know. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go now in peace, spreading the good news. Thanks be to God.